Over these 20 years, there have been many people who have supported our efforts to make the association all that it has become. Too many people to name, but we're still going to try and name a few, at least to highlight a few. So please join us to recognize and thank the following members for their contributions to the success of the Justice of the Peace Association. So we have we have a loyalty award, and this is this is tied. There's a tie for our loyalty award. The first is given to Kathy Taylor of Collinsville, Connecticut. Kathy has been a JP for 30 years and with JPUS for 20, joining in June 2001. Her first wedding, she was so nervous until she realized that the couple was more so. And this is what precipitated Kathy's tradition of giving the bridal couple little tidbits to make their day a little bit less stressful. Over the years, Kathy has consistently been performing about 12 to 15 weddings each year, but it's amazing how they add up because she's done 580 so far. The second loyalty award goes to Debbie Stewing of Newtown, Connecticut, for being a member since the association was formed. On March 30th, 2001, almost exactly 20 years ago, we started a discussion board. Facebook hadn't yet been launched even. And um, the first post <laughs> was by Saul and it was titled, is anyone listening? <laughs> he posted it on one day and uh, four days later, Debbie responded. She was the first to reply and she got the conversation going by starting discussions, which was great. Um, when Debbie first joined the association, she had already been a JP for 20 years, which makes this her 40th year officiating weddings. Congratulations to Debbie. Um, our longest standing member in Massachusetts is Claire Watts. And just because we started in Connecticut, it doesn't seem fair to omit our others who are in other states. Claire joined JPUS in 2003, when we first expanded to the state. She's based in Cape Cod, and even during the pandemic, Claire did over 40 weddings last year. She's in her third term as a JP and has done hundreds of weddings over the years. Thank you, Claire, and congratulations to you. For our service award, we'd like to recognize Angie Straders Murphy, because when things get tough, Angie can be counted on to make lemonade out of those lemons. She's flexible and accommodating and always with a sweet, positive attitude and smile. I appreciate Angie and, I, and her support of the Justice of the Peace Association. She's warm and generous with her words of wisdom. Whether she's sharing photos for our programs or giving feedback to our trainings or sharing her own experiences, she's been there. And as a bonus, her good cheer is infectious and so important, especially during this last year. Congratulations, Angie, and thank you very much. And now the Educational Leadership Award. It goes to Betty Jean Rivard Darby. Um, I first met Betty Jean in 2005 when we announced our first Justice of the Peace Conference. She immediately volunteered to make all the signs, the name tags and the signs that were hanging around. We hung outdoors and in. And not only that, she brought her portable printer so that if anybody walked in, she could make a name tag for them. And she's been at every conference since then. Her two most popular topics, Are You Worth the Broccoli? <laughs> that was the clever name for discussing pricing, as she did today already. And personalizing the ceremony, which was all about the love story that Betty Jean learns about the couple. So both of those topics are on the agenda for today, which is great. Um, I, I just want to say that Betty Jean lives at the very top of the state of Connecticut, and I live close to the bottom. We never would have met had it not been for JPUS. So I thank JPUS for my friend Betty Jean, and congratulations on this award. It never fails 
no matter what the post on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram, two people are always sharing the love. And that's Betsy Raymond and Sharon Carroll. They comment, they like, they share, and we love the love because let's face it, we all like to be, it feels good to be liked and loved. So everything about Sharon is love. And we're fortunate that she spreads it from her home in Manchester, New Hampshire, across all of our states. As you will certainly hear her saying during this afternoon's workshop about being authentic, Sharon loves love. And she loves the wedding business. I'm so grateful that she shares that love with the Justice of the Peace Association. Thank you, Sharon, and congratulations. Betsy Raymond has been a member with JPUS for just over a year, since January 2020. But what a start she's had. From Leominster, Massachusetts, in addition to liking, loving, and commenting on almost all of our posts, she's also generous with her fellow officiants, offering supportive words or encouragement on social media and on Zoom calls. Betsy's a reliable friend. So to both of you, heartfelt, heartfelt thank yous to both Betsy and to Sharon. We love you too. The Volunteer Extraordinaire Award goes to Shelley Shulman. She is another member who has always been there when needed. At every conference, her session on newbie JPs was the most pop popular. She taught new JPs the ropes and continued to mentor them after the conference. Shelley has continued to volunteer in my absence, She's worked with Loretta at the Town Clerk Association Conference in Connecticut, and she's testified with Loretta to oppose the JP for a day bill, also in Connecticut, of course. Thank you, Shelley, for being there, and congratulations on this well-deserved award. Our Testifiers Award goes to Stephen Dembo. It's always a little intimidating going to our state's capitals and especially when we're speaking out against a piece of legislation. But that hasn't stopped New Hampshire JP Steve, Stephen Dembo. He has faithfully returned to Concord to speak up on the issues that are important to him and other JPs throughout the state, special marriage officiants. I've appreciated Stephen's camaraderie and his companionship during these legislative days. And he and the testifier's award is well earned. Thank you and congratulations, Stephen. Lastly, um, the Impact Award goes to Carmen George. When Atlantis and I explored the best way to cover the state of Vermont, Carmen was loaded with ideas. She helped us understand the state's rural makeup and recognize the more popular wedding destinations that were important both for our fee model as well as SEO efforts. In addition, Carmen has suggested membership enhancements, including the recently announced opportunity to share members' content across JPUS's social media platforms. If you didn't catch her presentation this morning with Sarah Monroe, go see the recording. Thank you, Carmen, and congratulations to you.